artifacts of Mars, and the political correctness police are out in force uh, this Halloween, as we get closer and closer to Halloween. I said Halloween. University of Wisconsin to scrutinize Halloween costumes for racism. University of Wisconsin Lacrosse has decided that they're going to check your column costumes, see what you're wearing, and make sure they're not racist. The hypersensitive campus set to host a review of student Halloween costumes and ensure they do not come across as racist. None of your business what I wear. If I was there. UWL made he headlines recently for students' outrage at Harry Potter character themed mural that soon claimed depicted man power, cis power, able power, class power. What does that mean? In a comical attempt to avoid offending anyone else on campus, the Ethnic and Racial Studies Department. UW Lacrosse, which offers students classes in white privilege and food and race in the United States, is holding a Halloween costume review on October 5th. Is your costume racist? A poster for the event queries passes by. Politically correct sensitive sensitivity at UWL already led to the resident hate response team what on earth investigating sidewalk shock that simply read Trump build the wall and all lives matter a hate response team well sink how last December school official asked law enforcement to investigate a truck driver who displayed a rebel flag on the grill of his tractor trailer what the hell? Driver worked for a private company that was participating in the building project on campus. The official, Paul Nudson, who was vice chancellor, then apologized to the students for the fear and angst caused by the truck. Several UWL students harassed workers at the job site when they saw the flag. Well, there you have it. Story number one. Political correctness police is out in force, and you're gonna have to check your costume, make sure it doesn't piss somebody off. Screw you! It gets worse. Hang on. Hello, and here we go again. Washington Post is your dog's Halloween costume sexist. So now the fleet. PC police, here's what this is about, PC police are going into the stores and demanding that all reference to gender be removed, you know, they were, a lot of these stores were segregating the uh, costumes into occupations uh, from dogs, occupations and humans would be, uh, typical for that gender. Firefighters, male, bar, you know, maybe a Barbie costume for a female dog. Well, PC police have been going to the stores and demanding that uh, this be taken down. Uh, national retailers have been taking steps to eliminate gender labels from their products for humans. Pet stores such as PetSmart and Baxter Boo still segregate dog costumes by male and female. Good. Male and female are different. It's the way it is. Glass ceiling appears to be firmly in place at PetSmart. Oh, for crying out loud. Where career costumes labeled male include firefighter and police officer while female dogs can choose between a pink cowgirl costume and pink loofah. On site BaxterBoo.com options for a female pooch include female heart nurse or French maid. Any tiny girl will look adorable wearing this French maid 
dog costume and sight description leads. Whether your pup is clean freak or messy mutt, she will enjoy putting up, dress up in this costume. Seems silly on the surface, but this is part of a larger message we're sending. But there are certain jobs for men and certain jobs for women. Said Scott Lawry, 36, who hosts a podcast. She will not be ignored about gender issues. Career options for women and dogs need to go beyond pink loofahs and pink cowgirls. Oh, for crying out loud. These people are so sick. Unbelievable. These people are mentally ill. I mean, this is just the way things are. You can't change human nature. They're trying to legislate human nature. It's what they're trying to do. These people are sick in the head. They're liberals. The words than liberals are progressives and they're sick in the head. I'm out of fact some Thanks for watching.